Hi, this is Megan Connor, and welcome to another singer songwriter episode here on musicartistsforyou.com. We have a bunch of great artists for you to enjoy today, and our first artist is none other than Porter Howell. Now, some of you may recognize Porter because he's the front man for the legendary country band Little Texas. Well, he's also a very, very gifted songwriter on his own. And when he combines his incredible guitar skills with his amazing voice, look out. It's truly an honor to have him on this episode of our singer-songwriter show. So I give to you Porter Howell. In the Sam Houston ballroom at the Holiday Inn, the class of 1983, all got together. For a night to remember There was Timmy, Dill, Andy, and me We watched the wives get to know one another As we stood around nursing our beers And we laughed and shook our heads When somebody said can you believe it's been 20 damn years? Then out came the pictures of all of the youngins that looked just like we did back then. Andy, his oldest, turned 18 that summer and in the fall he played ball at a and M. Though nobody said it I think it dawned on the soul Just how fast youth disappears We'd all tried to fight it But you could not deny it It had really been 20 damn years Couldn't wait to be seniors Time seemed to drag on and on We graduated Went our separate ways And blinked And two decades were gone Then somebody mentioned Randall and Janie and that night out on I-59 He rolled his baby blue brand new Camaro And only one of them got out alive Now we hadn't planned On a moment of silence There we stood Trying to fight back the tears Thinking about where she might be now Had it really been 20 damn years Man, I remember we couldn't wait to be seniors And time seemed to drag on and on We graduated when our separate ways and Blinked and two decades were gone As the party wound down We stumbled out As glory days rang in our ears And that old band of brothers We hugged one another And said I'll see you in twenty damn years yeah, that old band of brothers We hugged one another And said, I'll see you in 20 damn years
Riverside Recording Studios is located in Nashville, Tennessee on the world-renowned Music Row. Formerly owned by country music legend Porter Wagner, Fireside Studios is steeped in country music history. Combining great studio architecture and the best in recording equipment, Fireside is without a doubt one of the premier recording facilities in Nashville. So if you're ready to record an album that will burn up the charts, then make sure you record it at Fireside Recording Studios. Are you a music artist or songwriter that just can't get a break? Then musicartistforyou.com is your answer. Musicartistforyou.com is a totally new way to promote you and your band. With our streaming radio stations, online television shows, and major sponsor promotions, musicartistforyou.com is your solution to a successful music career. Anyone can sell their music on iTunes or other music services, but how is anyone going to know you're there? So log on to www.musicartistforyou.com to experience music like you've never experienced it before. Ask for Nexon, tires for the next generation. Log on to NexonTireUSA.com for a retailer near you. He loved fishing at the crack of dawn. Sunlight cutting through the morning mist He'd be there till the crawlers were gone Then he'd cut back through the field in that old truck of his Maybe that's what heaven's like Old hound dog riding shotgun just loving life Cold beer and catfish fried just right Maybe that's what heaven's like His one true love was a woman named Pearl For 52 years they shared that old farmhouse Lord and missed her when she left this world Could see them holding each other again right now Like rocking chairs sitting side by side, hand in hand to the end of time. Maybe that's what heaven's like. For some, it might be a place they've never been, soaring like an eagle, riding the wind. For me, it's getting to be a kid again And spending one more day with him Maybe that's what heaven's like Fixing a flat on an old red bike Reliving the best days of your life Maybe that what heaven's like Maybe Just maybe Maybe That's what heaven's like I've seen asphalt melt in the Houston heat I've seen barbed wire burn a buzzard's feet Almost drowned in a Brownsville haze I've seen a rattlesnake 
paint in the shade But ooh, I ain't never seen anything like you The way you love me Might lose me breath there Kisses are downright relentless. Damn, baby, it don't get this hot in Texas. I've seen cactus just dry up and die. I've seen a habanero make a grown man cry. Had my sweat bubble up like oil. And I've seen the Rio Grande. I'll come to a boy, huh? But ooh, I ain't never seen anything like you. The way you love me is downright relentless. You wildfire kisses. About to leave me breathless Damn, baby It don't get this hot in Texas Ooh, I ain't never seen Anything like you Don't get this hot in Texas This hot in Texas, no We'll be right back with more from Porter Howell right after these messages. Outlaw is not a choice, it's a way of life, it's an attitude. Express yourself with Outlaw Wear jeans, t-shirts, and accessories. Outlaw Wear, for those who need to push the limits, available at www.shopoutlawwear.com. Custom drums means working with the customer, giving them the drums they truly desire. Medicine Man Custom Drums is a custom drum manufacturer specializing in the manufacture of custom drums and refinishing existing drums. President and CEO Dana Cheney has been a longtime drummer for many years. Creating drums with specialty finishes and color coordinated hardware is their specialty. I uh, recently got remarried just two years ago, uh, summer of 08. And um, as I was uh, dating my wife, who I had met in high school, I was just thinking about, um, you know, what taking that plunge would mean to me. And I uh, was thinking of it as a walk. And so basically this is me asking her, if, would you take this walk with me? We'd both uh, older, 
and uh, and live some life, so to speak. So we know that everything's not going to be rosy, but we know that we can get through anything together. So this is called Take This Walk With Me. Here we stand Side by side Looking out over forever I can give you my heart But I can't promise you A lifetime of sunny weather Cause the days will get short The nights will grow cold the leaves will turn and fall And it's gonna rain But that's okay I'm not afraid at all If you'll take this walk with me And we come to a puddle in the middle of the street I will lay my coat down Like in old movies And you can cross as you please If you'll take this walk with me There's a place I've heard of Passed off here and doubt That I've never been before To an enduring love Sent from above And it's right outside that door If you take this walk with me and we come to a road and don't know where it leads Baby, I'll take your hand ever so gently And we can get through anything If you'll take this walk with me Take this walk with me And we come to a puddle In the middle of the street Babe, I'll take your hand Ever so gently And we can get through anything If you'll take this walk with me If you'll take this walk with me if you'll take this walk with me Event Audio provides you with top-of-the-line audio system rentals, technical expertise and professional service in Nashville, Tennessee and the surrounding areas. When you need a complete and professional sound service for any occasion, look no further than Event Audio. They've been in business since 1966, providing the highest quality service and using the best gear and most professional engineers and technicians available. No matter how big or small your event, if there's audio involved, they have you covered. There's no reason to look anywhere else because their name says it all. Event Audio. Hey music lovers of all ages, are you tired of the same old cookie cutter music that comes out of the same mold where every song sounds the same? Now's your chance to experience great music from established artists and up and coming acts that until now no one was ever going to hear of thanks to musicartistforyou.com. 
musicartistsforyou.com is a totally new media and a new way to experience music, including our very own online radio stations and TV shows with artists and songwriters from all genres of music. So log on to www.musicartistsforyou.com to experience music like you've never experienced it before. I'm here with the amazing Porter Howell. Thank What's you. going on, man? Um, nothing much. Just been uh, on the road with the band, with Little Texas. Nothing much. <laughs> right, right, right. I sing and play guitar, and you know. Yeah. Well, let's talk that. about a little bit. Where are you? Where are you from? And how'd you get to Nashville? And I grew up in Longview, Texas, which is East Texas. Mm -hmm. People think of Texas as uh, usually more Austinish, you know, little short trees and all that, yeah. and cactus and all that kind of stuff. East Texas is a swamp. It's more, I think, Louisiana. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like from that. Texas, so I know that, yeah, but that's right. they might not. But know where that. are you from, though? Um, Fort Worth ish. Yeah. Right at the line of the stumpy trees. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the swamp yeah. ends. So you know our side, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar my, with it. My family um, owns a bunch of land that's actually um, a lot of Sabine River bottom land, so I grew up, you know, running around in the river bottoms and in fishing swamps? and all that. Pretty much. <laughs> I hate to say, it's a lot of land, but it's a lot of swamp. Yeah. So how, what was your journey to Nashville? Um, I was lucky enough to go to a high school where I had a um, music director, a choir director, who was connected with Belmont College through another friend of hers. So she actually sent maybe four or five of us that you would have heard. Mark Bright, who's producing everybody from Reba, to, was one of the first to find Belmont yeah. College back then. Uh, one of the first to explore it and, and come out here. And so I heard about it through there. Got a Russell Terrell, who's a behind the scenes background yeah. singer. Went to the other high school, our bass player in Little Texas. Found out about it so through everyone, that deal, so. Everyone was from there and then they? Those of us with the drive and or the talent and just the knowing that we wanted, you can't. We could have all gone to North Texas and yeah. Dallas, but we weren't jazzers, you know. Yeah. And we weren't really into that. That's you know, an incredible school. It, yeah, it is. And you go there and study jazz and uh, wind up playing in the Leno band or whatever. Or you could go to L.A. and be in an 80s hair band. Rock, that rock, scared me yeah. to death. In New York, <laughs> no way. So for an East Texas kid, Nashville was the perfect place, you know. You could have done the, 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 the I could have, but you could I'm just hair. not. It would have scared me too. Look at I've been out there. I, I, think, well, I think you're right where you belong. Yes. So, so tell us about... Um, after college and and what you did from there because i know you're you were in little texas mm -hmm. right that you a, were little texas. i am yeah am you are still was yeah in, yeah and was and still am a founding member uh-huh um we met through i mean the name is kind of deceptive not to us because we actually got it from a place here in nashville south of of nashville but then three of us were from texas and we met here and then we went to texas to get going and yeah. we came back here to get a record deal so there was a texas tennessee connection you know but we um we got the name from that place seeing a street sign cool. but we met either at belmont or at Opryland. a few of us when it was the theme park it was that long ago in like 87. oh wow i was in a rock show um, a couple of guys were in the country show so actually four of the six originals met out there and we had three Texans in common, but the rest yeah. were from other places. Yeah. So some Texas boys that grew up there came here to do the modern country thing. We're just paying the bills, you know, and met yeah. in those circles. That's a good thing. Next thing you know, we had, and it seemed like forever to us, but by today's standards, we got a record deal like overnight. Like that, yeah. We had attention when we formed it. Wow. You know, and then... Um, sealed the deal in like two years of running around going back to Texas playing borrowed money and all the you know really cool dance clubs in and around Dallas yeah they're also you know Jim Collins is a big mm -hmm. songwriter mm -hmm. guys like that were playing that circuit Toby yeah Keith was in that thing back then so we did that and got some seasoning and got believable to uh -huh. the execs back here so when we came back they finally gave us some they were, to do a single you guys were there. ready we signed yes actually, yes before we were in the dreaded developmental thing. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> so, um, so what are you doing now? And, and I know that I'm, you are an amazing guitar player. This guy is a rock star, but, um, and also an amazing singer, but you've written just 
some great songs. Thank so, you. <laughs> tell us about the songs that um, I mean. So, some of you guys may be familiar. I you I know you're familiar with um, some of the the hits, the l little bit older, and then I I think you've got some good stuff going on now. So, talk a little bit about we, that. Um, we didn't have songs, and we were probably the youngest country band to ever come along at that point. So the songs running around town were being written for Alabama band kind of harmony yeah. songs. And people were thinking Alabama when they sat down to write. So we couldn't find anything that was naive and that fit where we were, you know, barely being 20. So it was like, you guys get in a van, you, you, and you, you write, you know. And like, I wrote some rock songs in high school. You know? <laughs> but it was awesome because when we did, a couple of us emerged as the main writers, you know, guys that kind of had a, a clue right at the beginning, and we got put with, I mean, everybody in town. It was such an education, so yeah. grew us up, and really quick, songwriting-wise, and we wrote most everything anybody ever heard from Little Texas was written within the band, so I was lucky enough to be on songs like What Might Have Been, and God Bless Texas, and Kick a Little, and pretty, pretty much all the singles but one or two. Yeah. Amy's back wow. in Austin. I'm not on, which is my favorite song. No yeah. kidding that we ever did. But so there was that run, and during that run, getting to write with all the writers in town, I had some outside cuts too with Ricochet. Mm -hmm. um, two with Trace Atkins, Montgomery Gentry. Wow. Um, Dwayne and I from the band, Dwayne O'Brien, and I got to write with um, John Oates from Hall and Oates. Wow. I didn't think much of it. It was fun. It was like one of our, you know, yeah. I saw him in Nacogdoches when I was in high school, you know. Um, one of the best concerts I've Ever. went to, you yeah. know. I was drugged actually by a girlfriend because I didn't want to go see, I wanted to go see Van Halen, not, yeah. but oh my God, but it was all those guys, G. Smith from Saturday Night Live. So to sit in a room with him was awesome and that was enough. And we wrote a song we didn't even really finish. He took it to Daryl because they were working on an album. As we walked out the door, he said, well, me and Daryl are working on something. Maybe I'll in the end of later. Yeah, right. Six months later, we get a call. We've reworked it. Daryl's part of it now. So he, we made him a, a co-writer, which we didn't mind at all. No, and then, no. yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's okay. okay. Wants, yeah. That. He said he really did change it and he made it. Them. And the first time I heard it, it freaked me out because it sounds so much like them. It is not a Hall & Oates 90s departure song. Yeah. It is straight what, you know, fits with Sarah's smile. Wow. So long story short, it went on to be a top five um, AC hit wow. for them. So that Look was one of the you. coolest outside things. That is amazing. Thank you. So now, I, now. Mean, I think you've got some things. Let's talk about now. I wrote, it's cool how songwriting works because if you just do it, you never know what, what may life happen. that song will have. Yeah. I wrote a song in like probably... Um, O2 or so called Run mm -hmm. with a couple of good friends. One of them had a developmental deal on Lyric Street. So we were writing for her. It was too late in their project. They didn't cut it. Fifteen young girls looked at that song. And uh, it was cut a couple of times and even released briefly as a single. But recently, just through circles in town, Leanne Womack and Tony Brown got a hold of it. Look at that. And they've cut it and I'm just outside of the loop but just hearing that they've sang it and they're doing background so wow. who knows you know yeah i hope they love it well fingers crossed yeah thank I'm you i'm sure it'll be amazing <laughs> so what else um are you playing with any artists are you what el what else is going on and do you have um do you have some shows coming up soon i'm still on the road with little texas uh -huh. we reformed in 04 and we've been out since i started singing in 06 it took over Lead. So yeah. the band is four original guys, me, the bass player, drummer, rhythm guitar, who I wrote a lot of songs with, uh -huh. and uh, bass, doing. So it's four originals. Come see us if, yes. you, if you get a chance. And where where can people go to hear? Is it live just at Little Texas, or you, do you have a personal website, or both? If you Google the band, just Little Texas, mm -hmm. it, it, all the top sites are all our main sites. Okay. So there's our main website, and uh, MySpace, and a uh, and uh, whatever those Facebook things are. Facebook and yes, that, Twitter and everything. Yeah, none of this stuff existed when we went around yeah. the first time. And I, I do love to play in town. Mm -hmm. And I play with all oh, kind of, like, I did James Otto's showcases and a good friend of mine, Jamie Lee Thurston. So I have yeah. a gang of friends and, you know, I'm always open to, to new talent. Yeah. Usually it starts out as writing relationships and yeah. wind up playing guitar. Well, he's town, amazing. So. 
<laughs> so, Thank you. Thank you. well, anything else? What I mean, anything else really exciting coming up, or just writing and career-wise, no writing. Family. I just got married, and I have six kids. Oh wow! And they That's play baseball, and they play bass, and they're running around. It's it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Just so between the band and writing and family, stuff I you've do got in a, town and family. Yeah. You've got a full plate. Awesome. Yep. Well, you're amazing, and I just if you haven't heard any of his work, you need to go check it out. Check so, it out. congratulations with all the new stuff going on, and Thank I you. just wish you best of luck with everything coming up. Thank you. Sound Kitchen Studios is the Southeast's most prestigious recording and production facility. All of the studios in this 19,000 square foot facility are internationally recognized for their great sound. So it's no surprise that the biggest names in the entertainment industry use the Sound Kitchen. Artists spanning all music genres have recorded at the Sound Kitchen. Elton John, Vince Gill, B.B. Winans, Bruce Springsteen. Safety Suit, Saliva, Alice in Chains, Dolly Parton, Hank Williams Jr., Michael W. Smith, Trace Atkins, Jewel, as well as thousands of indie artists. No matter your location, the Sound Kitchen is the perfect site for song demos, complete album projects, artist showcases, television tapings, and video productions. If you can't travel to the kitchen, ask about our Skype sessions. Work with Nashville's A-Session players from the comfort of your home. This amazing studio complex offers an unparalleled VIP setting. And if you want to throw a private or corporate party, the kitchen has you covered with personal chefs and two full-service kitchens, private lounges, and conference areas. Remember, whether you are signed to a label or just beginning your journey as an artist, it's all about your music and your legacy. So get on over to the Sound Kitchen and eat music. As a musician, you understand that your gear needs the very best protection available. You depend on that gear to be in top working condition when you perform. So why not protect it with the very best custom road cases available? Road Hog cases are made from the best ABS laminate, casters, and hardware on the market. They custom build each case to your specs for a perfect fit. Don't trust some assembly line case to protect your gear. If you want to know your gear is safe, there's only one answer. Road Hog cases. Built by musicians for musicians. So many vehicles on the road today call for performance tires. Nexen offers state-of-the-art technology for vehicles we drive today and tomorrow. Nexen high performance tires offer a better value. Tires we can all afford. Nexen, driving a better tomorrow. Nexen tires are available in 120 countries with offices in Dubai, London, Sydney, Seoul, and Los Angeles. Log on to NexenTireUSA.com for a retailer near you. When you need tires, ask for Nexon.